What's up, guys and gals? I'm Jay Campbell. Hunter Williams. And we are back, and we are here today to talk to a probably very important topic that, you know, Hunter and I are always talking about in some way, form, or the other, and that is the majority of people on planet Earth or plain Earth or dimension Earth or Realm density Earth. Earth, whatever you want to call it, um, literally exist in a complete state of hormonal dysregulation, and 80% have no fucking idea, mm -hmm. okay? And- that's probably a lot of you watching this video here today. And this is not just for men, you know, a lot of guys and people think that we just talk about men, but our audience is much broader. Now we have a ton of females in our, our private membership groups, a ton of females that follow us online and our email list and even uh, read our articles. And this, this video specifically today is for both men and women because everyone as they age at some point in time, whether it's in their forties, fifties, sixties, seventies, or even later, is likely going to be suffering from some form of hormonal deficiency. And again, the reasons are myriad, but the environment is under siege, the plastics, the EMFs, the dirty electromagnetic frequencies, the Wi-Fi, uh, the routers, the blue light, the white incandescent light, even the light that we have right now behind you know, our computer, all this stuff disrupts and dysregulates your endocrine system functioning. And it's leading to what we find ourselves in today, which is this massive just call it hormonal morass where most men and women are walking around completely destitute and desecrated again from the environment. So how do we identify low testosterone or what is known in the clinical community as a testosterone deficiency as we age? Well, it's not, as you were saying to me before we made this video, what most people suspect, and that is sexual dysfunction. That is not the number one symptom or side effect of a hormonal deficiency. In fact, the number one symptom or side effect of a hormonal deficiency, and this is both for men and women, is cognitive decline. Most men and women who are suffering from a hormonal deficiency will have what you and I refer to as brain fog. And the brain fog usually you know, uh, manifests as ability or desire to want to go home and take a nap in the middle of the day, right? Like you're a dude or you're a woman, you're in the workforce, you might even just be a housewife, you know, a kept woman. And by one o'clock or two thirty, one, one between one and two o'clock in the afternoon, you're just devastated. You're done. You're done. Like you can't think. You have. You can't even produce. You want to take a nap. You have no idea what is happening. And so, what happens? You go to your doctor if you're smart enough and progressive enough to go to a doctor. And you think they're going to check your hormones? No, they're not going to check your hormones. But what they are going to do is make money on you, and they're going to basically prescribe an SSRI, like Wellbutrin. There's a million other ones. Um, little blue pill. Little a little blue <laughs> pill and. Now they're also going to be like, oh, well, by the way, you know, what's, how's it working down south? You know, like, you know, how your erections, blah, blah, blah. And if you're remotely going to say, oh, you know what, doc, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling there too, which is a symptomology or side effect of a testosterone or a hormonal deficiency. And again, for both men and women, they're going to write you a script for uh, Levi Levitra, Viagra, Cialis, and even with women, what do they have now? Lebanza or what's it called? Yeah. Phil, Phil Lebanza or whatever. Yeah. They even have sex pills you know, uh, to enhance women's libido now too. So bottom line, that's how it goes. And unless you're really smart enough to follow people like us online uh, or other influencers or, you know, subject matter experts on hormones, you're rarely going to get the right information that will tell you that, no, dude, you got to get your blood work done. You got to get your biomarkers measured. You got to get in a, a thorough evaluation to see if you truly are suffering from a testosterone or slash hormonal deficiency. And the other hormones would be estradiol, progesterone for women. So the truth is, is that so many people have no idea. They're walking around in a funk. They're walking around with obesity, metabolic dysregulation, insulin resistance, like all these things that are affecting their hormones, but yet they're not getting the advice. They're not getting the counsel, uh, the wise counsel from physicians that you and I work with on a day in day out basis that understand that hormonal deficiencies and dysregulation is the main culprit for pretty much all the disease states on this planet right now. Yeah, like you said, everyone associates low testosterone with sexual dysfunction, erectile dysfunction, and low libido. In my experience, and I had very, very low testosterone in my mid and late 20s, that was not even an issue. And luckily, I was able to, you know, I found Jay's work at a young age. I studied with it. I was familiar with it. And I was able to get on testosterone optimization therapy. But to me, the biggest change in my life after starting testosterone was the cognitive function, the assertiveness, and the reduction in anxiety. Yeah. Now, if you go out in public right now, you cannot throw a rock <laughs> and hit someone that doesn't suffer from anxiety. 
to Jay's point, people go to the doctor. The I banking. suffer. Yeah, I suffer from anxiety. You know, there's a lot of things with that. You look at your phone all the time. You're on social media all the time, blah, 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 whatever. But a hormone deficiency, one of the first and largest symptoms you will experience is anxiety, depression, 100%. fear, you know, uncertainty, all these things. Once I got my hormones optimized, I was like, man, I feel like myself now. I feel good. And so a lot of times people, they go to the doctor and they're like, doc, you know, I've got like anxiety. I just feel like the walls are closing in and all this stuff. And the doc's like, yo, here we have this thing is called, you know, an SSRI. It'll make you feel better. And then all of a sudden, you know, like they're on that, then that causes actual sexual dysfunction. Then it just leaves your body and just- And a further decline in the yeah, hormones. Yeah, exactly. And that suppresses your testosterone for men and for women, which is really bad. And so, you know, that affects the energetic balance between the masculine and feminine on the planet. We won't go into that, but it's all about like- the first symptom that I would say is someone, if you're suffering from anxiety, if you have like this, like low level, like worry, this brain fog in the afternoon, you know, a lot of people will look to nootropics too, because there's a lot of cool nootropics out there. They'll look to nootropics to help them focus and help them get through that brain fog in the afternoon without ever examining whether they have a testosterone deficiency. For me, the reduction in anxiety and the increase in uh, mental clarity and cognition that I had, especially later in the day, where a lot of times, but like one or two o'clock, when I, you know, I'm a busy entrepreneur, like one or two o'clock in the afternoon, I would be fried and I couldn't even hardly get work done the rest of the day. I just had to like force myself to get work, which is probably 30% as good as I could have done. Um, once I got my testosterone fixed, that went out the window and I was able to just work straight through. Um, you know, and was able to like focus, stay creative, stay plugged in. So for me, I would say the biggest thing to look for, if you think you're suffering for a deficiency is the lack of cognition, the anxiety, and sort of that like mental cascade. Yes, of course, if you have low testosterone, it's gonna be hard to build muscle. It's gonna be harder to lose fat and all those things. But a lot of people don't look at the first thing, which is like how their brain is functioning and how they're seeing the world. Yeah. I mean, well, well said. And look, he knows when people ask me, what is the number one nootropic that you recommend? I always say therapeutic testosterone because nothing is going to increase dopaminergic, serotonergic, and uh, what's the other uh, dendritic pathways in the brain better than therapeutic testosterone. That is, like he said, the first known remediation of any kind of testosterone deficiency or hormonal dysregulation symptoms is an increase in dopamine signaling, which is going to improve your mood. It's going to improve your sense of well-being. And of For course, a man, it's going to make you more assertive absolutely. and actually want to work on things that are important sure. instead of playing video games or getting lost. I, I, that's behavior. a great point. Like, you know, Monica and I were in Las Vegas this week walking around uh, the, the Venetian shops, you know, in between the a4M medical conference. And, you know, I'm, they've got these like video game places in there. And all you see is literally grown men. Who 35 fat, year old men. Yeah. Who are fat and, 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 and full of estrogen and, you know, just they're effeminated and, and, and feminized and demasculated or, or emasculated. And they're just sitting in there playing their video games. And I'm thinking to myself, the only man that would be sitting there playing video games as a 30 plus year old man in the broad daylight, middle of the day of Saturday and Sunday in Las Vegas is a man who has no testosterone. Yeah. Because as you know, testosterone increases assertiveness, it increases energetic balance, it increases a desire to succeed and to go out and to conquer and to you know overcome and all this stuff. But right, if you have none of those hormones and you don't have any of these signaling molecules and you don't have that energy that is produced by you know a, a optimized level of testosterone, you're going to sit around and just play video games. You're not, you're not going to do shit. I mean, and again, you know, no no offense to the, those of you guys who play video games all day, uh, but you know, again, there's a lot better things to be doing with your time than playing video games. So the bottom line is to really wrap this up and summarize this. If you are a male or female and you are suffering from a lot of these symptoms and side effects that we just talked about in this video, you have to get your blood work done. You don't have to go to your PPO doctor or your HMO doctor or your family doctor. You can literally go online and order your laboratory works just like you're buying a book on Amazon. You can go to private MD labs. You can go to direct labs, discounted labs. There's so many places, Quest Labs. There's so many places you can do this. And again, you can purchase a, ther a total testosterone, a free testosterone, which is bioavailable testosterone. And if you're a woman, your estradiol and your progesterone levels, it's very simple. It's not expensive. And then if you come back, if they, if they come back to you and you're like, oh, well, Jay and Hunter, what do I do now? Because I don't know how to read them. You can go on YouTube and search it. There's literally probably thousands of videos 
of people who are far less gifted in understanding this than Hunter and I, you can learn to read your lab work by watching videos in five minutes. It's that simple. There's no guesswork. It's not hard. Sure. You could pay us to consult with us. You can join our private membership groups and you can ask us these questions, but it's very simple to learn this stuff on your own. And again, as you know, your family doctor, your HMO doctor, your PPO doctor doesn't give a shit. They're not out there looking at your laboratory records and going through your health records to find out whether or not you have any kind of issues as you get older. All this stuff is incumbent upon you to take personal ownership of your health. And the only way you can do that is to, again, to take ownership and do these kind of things. It's very simple to find out whether or not you have a hormonal deficiency if you are an aging man or woman in the West or any first world you know, population area. Yeah, to sum it up and close it out, how do you identify if you have low testosterone? I'll just say you probably do. Right. <laughs> I don't, you know, it's very rare that you would see someone, you know, even as advanced biohacking and everything that Jay and I do, every I dotted every T cross when it comes to our optimization protocols. There's no way that we would be able to have optimized testosterone in the environment we do. So I would say, you know, if you're a man over the age, I would say as young as 25, get your blood work tested and see where you're at. And even if you don't, you have nothing to lose by getting your blood work done. But I would say in today's world, if you live in a first world country, most likely you have a deficiency. So get it done. And if you feel like something's off, even if you don't think it's testosterone, get that checked because it could be, again, man or woman, because it could be something that would pr will profoundly change the trajectory of our life, of your life, and ultimately the trajectory of the planet to help the energetic balance of masculine and feminine on this planet, of which right now there's a severe imbalance. So. And, and, and truthfully, because I want to add this to what he just said, it's right now 11.33 p.m. on a Wednesday night, and him and I have done massive amounts of video today. We did a VSL. We've done five of these videos. We've, done, we've been on multiple video calls. We edited a gigantic sales page and we have but we've been lot, working since 7 30 we have so. we have put a lot of mental power into what we have done today and not to mention we had a vicious leg training session leg day baby and here we are and look at our energy look at our face look at the energy that we still possess none of this would be possible without therapeutic testosterone and optimized hormones i'm sorry don't come at me and say oh bullshit you guys are on coffee you took Tess Offensi. I didn't even drink you any coffee. Red light. Hey, we've done the red or light. Tess <laughs> we've done the red light bet twice today, and that's an amazing thing. You know, shout out to Trifecta Light. But at the end of the day, we function at this level mentally, physically, and of course spiritually because our hormones are optimized. We are literally living as source slash God, you know, great spirit. If you're a, 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 an Indian or an indigenous, yep designed us, which was to be in balance and in harmony with nature. And that's exactly what hormonal optimization gives you. So again, if this interests you, if you find this information valuable, I highly recommend you guys run over to my email list and sign up. It's totally free. We'll give you the peptide cheat sheet, which is profound. It's join.jcampbell.com. In the bottom uh, message of this video, you can also get a link to join Hunter's personal email list, which is growing by the day. Also, his information is unreal. So again, I'm Jay Campbell. Hunter Williams. We'll see you guys soon. Peace.